Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Green here and welcome to another video. And besides the fact that we're going to kill this dark side, this dark side have been fought from start to finish without an entropy or raven. So this was uh, quite a long process if you don't know what entropy is, because I got that question on the last video I mentioned. It's an artifact that makes you not die to dark side super move. But yeah, this, this account doesn't have raven or entropy, so this was a little bit of a rough experience. And you'll see here some things and some ways that I'm using to do this, and we're going to kill him, Heroic for Dark Side. Uh, and yeah, another interesting thing is that this upload is the 1000th video I post. When I started this channel uh, a little bit more than one year ago, I didn't think I would upload uh, that many videos. But yeah, lads, we got to 1000 videos, so I, I guess that's something. But yeah, getting back to the fight, I just wanted to let you guys know that. By the way, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, come on, do it for the 1000 video. But yeah, getting back to this fight, we're going to use Skatoman here with the Batman Ninja team. We're going to have a level 7 power box on her. And the only kind of difference that we have here compared to her usual gameplay uh, is the fact that um, we're going to back off a little bit from time to time to bait his specials. Because as I talked previously in our videos, uh, Darkseid AI will trigger special 1 and special 2 if you're far enough away from him. So we'll kind of use that to prevent him from using super move. And another difference is that usually you do 2 combos before doing a special 3. Because uh, your hits do a ton of damage so they are definitely worth doing. And your special 3 will do far more on a 40 hit combo. So overall that's the optimal gameplay. But over here we'll just do it after 1 combo because uh, the... Uh, it ha also has a power slow, and a lot of people underestimate the power of that, but that's a very powerful thing, and we're going to want to apply it as much as possible. And it so happens that the power slow is going to have a duration that's going to end right after you do one combo and use a special tree. If we're going to, with two combos, we'd actually lose more time because we need to back off far more often in order to bait these specials. And even that's not a guarantee, so we might have to tag in some characters to die. So yeah, overall using the special tree after each combo is gonna be definitely a way to um, make sure he doesn't reach that super move point. Applying special 2 in there, again keeping up the special 2 is going to be something that's gonna hurt our power slowing of him, but it's something that has to be done, because as I've explained, it stacks the lethal, so it's it definitely needs to stay up at all times. Come on, interruption again. In for another special 3. Yes, yeah, so far we didn't really get any problem with him getting the super move and uh, threatening our Catwoman. And at this point we don't even need to back off at all, because if he reaches a super move point again, then we can just tag in Grodd and he can die. Again, the, the buffs from the Batmanja team don't get lost upon death, so you can easily get your Batmanja character killed if needed, so that will not make any difference. Over here, instead of going straight to, uh, for the special tree, I could have uh, like uh, gone for an extended combo, combo interruption, combo again into the special tree, and I think that would have done more damage than the special uh, uh, tree in addition that we got at the end. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, that was a pretty damn successful Batman Ninja fight. 91 million, that's the highest we've got on dark sides. Okay, so over here, we're going to be uh, here off to a rough start, and to be honest, when I took a look at this fight, I was like, they did glitch because for some reason, I think uh, the fa or at the very least I got the vibe while fighting this that the firebox healing only triggered once. Now over here we sadly get very low, and the firebox triggers, and we're that low amount of HP, and from this point on the firebox just doesn't trigger. It might be something like it's. Uh, Constantly got me above the threshold of the firebox triggering and uh, I kept losing health So instead of finishing uh, its cycle of healing it would trigger the healing again and again and again for some reason Instead of finishing the cycle and then if needed if I'm yet again below that threshold heal me again I would just get I think above the threshold and then immediately again below the threshold So I think we got Three triggers of the power box in like three seconds. I think that might might be a speed run. If anybody's got better performance than that, let me know. But I think I must be the best in the world at wasting all the three power box stats stacks in like three seconds. But yeah, that's an unfortunate event and something that has never occurred to me. So definitely do and let me know in the comments if you've ever encountered something like that before. Because boy, that thing was weird. I was like, why don't I have Firebox anymore stacks? And this will hurt my gameplay a bit because I'll not be able to combo and drop that much with uh, Flash anymore. 
We'll have to heavily count on Cyborg from now on. We also got our Aquaman uh, killed from the super move and we can no longer revive Flash if needed. Special to in there but Cyborg. Re-engage the combo here. Flash going back in. Go special 3 and tagging a Cyborg straight in there just not allowing Flash to get any damage. I think he can come on trap like 2 times but then he will literally get killed by blocking the hit. But yeah boy! The thing with the power box at the start was one of the weird appearances I've had in a while. So yeah, definitely let me know if anybody is able to beat that 3 seconds uh, uh, full power box 3 stacks trigger. Boy, that, that was insane uh, over there. Insane in a dumb way, but insane nevertheless. Another special 2 from Cyborg. I'm being very cautious with Flash over here. I come on chopped again. I can't afford to do that, I think, two more times. Special 2 in there. Doing a combo with Flash in. Flash going for a special 3. And blocking that. I mean, not even getting hit by that, thankfully. Cyborg is coming back in. Look, his Father Box triggered again. But boy, he still has Father Box stacks. I'm like, somebody else in this fight. He flashed back in. Come on, Chopping. The last time we could possibly come on Chopping there without dying. And the jump attack at the end that didn't even connect. But yeah, that whole thing with the power box elves are really messed up or just the gameplay. I mean, we would have done at most 45 million, so I guess it was not that terrible. But uh, it made it so that the server banshee peep over here is going to be a little bit more on the edge. Because if uh, we would have done that additional 7 million, then this would have been an easy cleanup. Now it's going to be a complicated operation, struggling not to die, because again, we don't have an entropy, so we'll die super move. And the only way to power drain this dude is uh, by uh, reverse flash passive it's going to be pretty tricky to use over here tagging power girl because i want reverse flash passive to trigger with him having as much energy as possible and thus having as little as possible real session there we go beautiful power still there boy that that was nice to witness the banshee in there for special tree and now uh, we're going to use special one and tagging power girl again because we don't want to power seal right now we want to power seal later on Revenge in there, special 3. Tagging Cop into a special 1. Now Reverse Flash and our beauty for Power Steel. So far it's going well. I need to play this very very well because... I need to deal more damage than I'm usually, deal usually dealing with this fight because usually I deal... I, I die with 1 minute left. That's how this one goes, so you have to be extra careful. Tagging off 2 times. Now we'll have to steal again, there we go. Bro, Reverse Flash being a champ in this fight, like he doesn't have a 100% chance to power steal and if that doesn't trigger, he can mess your gameplay up. But he's really pulling uh, the stuff off this fight, so I'm very proud of him. But he's out of passive stacks and now we get our power girl killed, sadly. So right now it's it's just two means of uh, being able to deal with these dudes. It's uh, backing off and, and baiting special uh, twos and special ones. And uh, that's about it. And right now we can't bait any of them because they're both disabled. So a uh, boy reverse flash here is gonna take. It's gonna have to take one for team. Very proud of his performance this match. You can rest now, my boy. And now it's all up to Silver Banshee. And Silver Banshee is a beast in one v one situation. A lot of people underestimate her, but she's got max out defense. That doesn't count against the Dark Souls special one, but still, just putting that out there. She's got max out defense without you putting any defense on her. That's that's her base. And there we go, she pulls it off. Very proud of this team. End of this performance. 29 million, usually we deal 25 or something. That's why I was saying that the Justic team would have put us in a safe scenario. But yeah, I'm happy with the 200 reforges. I'm not happy with grid, but fuck it. We, we don't care, we got, we got 1000 uploads, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for watching all my videos. Thank you so much for being subscribed. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Uh, goodbye.